Alright guys, uh, here me, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to make a video of, i uh, do something real quick, but I'm going to make a video on a, my first shed, so whoa, the first garage slash shed slash parking, I don't know, it's just where we keep our trap and stuff, so it's in there, I'm going to do something real quick, hold on a minute, we get up in the morning, check our traps. Oh, well, I had those rabbit traps set out, and I finally caught me one a couple days ago. I didn't have my camera with me two days ago, not yesterday, the day before. There's a fur to it. I mean, we don't we don't sell rabbit fur. We just rip it and get his meat, and then we uh, I'm gonna train my rat beagle dog with it, see if I can get her to rabbit hunt. So, uh, but here's today's catch. Um, big, nice, big, pale coon. He's real white. Uh, we caught this coon in a Duke DP set. This is a spot our buddy told us to go trap. Uh, pretty good. We got 13 muskrat there and two possum in that. And we got this rabbit right here. My rabbit. Meat's inside the house. We're gonna probably go out and cook it up in a minute. Uh, then we got this coon. We got so far we got a uh, 14 coon, 14 muskrat. This is a boar. There's three coon here. They're on stretchers, but those are not gonna be worth nothing except the one in the middle because we got his length right. The other one, the stretcher length wasn't right, so. Yeah, and but and then we got a whole freezer full of a bunch more coon, and then we have a groundhog fur and a skunk fur in there, and then so we'll be well tomorrow plus so whatever we catch tomorrow plus these is what we'll uh, be skinning tomorrow. So we'll have a good day. But and then another catch this is a good catch. We haven't caught a muskrat, and I don't know how long. We caught all those 13 muskrat in the first three days. And then we ca we finally caught another one today. It was a, uh, it was a mink set. It was a, it was a bridge going down and on both sides there was like trails where mink were coming down and coon were coming down. And I guess muskrat were coming down too, but I didn't see any muskrat tracks. I had a, a number one long spring set right at the base in the, where it's still in the water, right at the bank where they're coming up, like a bottom edge, basically. Those claws are sharp. Uh, like a bottom edge, basically, and that's how I caught him. I had some mink lure on a stick up right on the bank right there. Hoping for a mink, but we got nice muskrat, though. I ain't gonna complain. It's a nice muskrat. It's a big muskrat, really. I mean, look. This is my hand. Comparison. Get a better, a better video here. There's a muskrat compared to my hand. I mean, can't get my hand all the way around it. But uh, this morning over here behind the house, I uh had some. I had a 110 set and a rabbit trail with some corn on it. Rode up on my four wheeler, check it and. It was like it was it was it's gone. It wasn't nothing. There was nothing there. You know, there's a bunch of muskrat stretchers and stuff. And muskrat furs. This is these are nice. We did pretty good on the muskrat furs this year. They're nice and pa like paper. They were on the stretcher for a long time. Bunch of nice fur. This will be our big dollar coming in the muskrat wheel. And we keep possum. I know some a lot of people don't keep like to keep possum. But for the most part, we keep them because we're going for eight bucks a piece right now, and we've caught about twenty or thirty. We just only skinned like two or three. We've caught twenty or thirty, and that we got like total of like we would have a total of hundred dollars if we skinned them all. But then we, I think we're gonna start skinning all, all of them. I'm gonna show you the freezer now. This is it's pretty crazy in this place. It's full, a bag's full of fur in here. And I got my duck that I killed this year. My first duck. The duck's back that way. You can't see it really, you guys, but 
there's, I'll tell you how many bags of fur there's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve bags of fur in here. Got, my, got the skunk in here. You got the skunk in here, the groundhog in here, and one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coon in, and ten coon in here. Skunk right on the ten coon in here. Three more coon out here, and another one laying on the table. And then we got all of our muskrat, and we got two possums. We call it more possum. And get this, okay. Here's a bucket. And another light here. You still can't really see it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna dump it out. Just show you this. This is crazy. What's in this bucket is crazy. Best baby on right now. F and T fish roll. And don't forget about this. Shellfish. Mix those up. Hey, here's a beaver. I'm gonna show you these. Got one, two, three, four right here. Oh yeah, we have. We've caught four of them, but and here's this. Take that coon tail out there. I mean, that was a coon we had to go bad on us. Yeah, I just I just cut his tail off, but. A bucket full of squirrel tails. Did I catch the crap out of squirrel? And I keep squirrel tails, so I keep their tails and I sell tails. We made Popeye jigs and stuff like that. I don't know. We make Popeyes and all that stuff. So I keep them. And I'm going to count them. One. Oh, I'll count them later when I'm getting done with this video. So, yeah, guys, this is my trapping video of the first shed. And I'll make a video in the morning of catches by the house. And I got some, I set, uh, I pulled my 1DP from behind the house. Uh, and I set it somewhere else. And then we pulled a couple other ones from another place. And I set three more, I set three of them back there. So, if we have, we might have a coon or a possum in the morning. So, and so, uh, just keep watching these videos. They're good ones. So I'm gonna count all my tails I have total. Let's see how much that'll be worth. They're like 69 cents a piece, I think. So make it about 30, 40 bucks right there. And don't don't think we don't keep the meat on these squirrels either. We don't just cut their tails off. We keep their meat. So yep, that we got some skinning to do tomorrow, plus whatever else we catch. So hopefully we'll have another rabbit. Hopefully I might be able to find a 110 somewhere. So, this is the trapping shed. My four-wheeler, my baby back there. So, see you later, guys.